Hey guys, how you doing? Um, this is a drawing course for creativity. Uh, I wanted to share this because drawing has been a huge part of my life. I've met some incredible people through this process. Um, and I just want to share uh, what I've learned uh, through this medium um, and shed some kind of a light in regards to how to draw maybe more complex figures. Um, yeah, to follow along, you can uh, pick up a sketchbook um, to sort of, uh, yeah, carry through with kind of like the process in which that uh, we'll be sort of doing here. Um, your goal, I guess, to kind of set the stage, you know, maybe grab also, maybe I'll grab like a tea or a coffee. You know, I'm not sure where you are or where you are. If you want to leave kind of like a, a comment on, you know, where you're watching this from, that'd be pretty cool. Um, the po or the pro, sorry, the class or session will be about 30 to 40 minutes long. Um, and yeah, if there's any more, if, if there are poses that are a little bit more complex, uh, you can always pause the video and kind of uh, take your time with drawing. But um, yeah, uh, I guess uh, moving forward, uh, it's very important to note that this is uh, definitely for individuals, uh, you know, who are open to learning and growing and building upon their current skill set. Um, this isn't about uh, nice drawings. Uh, this is, however, about the process of drawing, which equates to uh, nice drawings. Um, so, yeah, uh, be patient, you know, be confident that you're learning something and, and growing. Um, the longest pose today will be five minutes. And um, yeah, I guess uh, let's get started. So I'm going to be breaking down this pose, um, which is uh, a little bit complex. So sometimes individuals have a problem with um, where do they start? How do they start? So I usually start, um, or this sort of like process in which I would start, is by encapsulating the, the pose, let's say, to um, kind of give a little bit of uh, an understanding for like um, the proportions and whatnot, how large this is on the page, you know, where you're placing it. it gives you like a very general visual guideline. Um, so after I draw a sort of square around the pose, I would then move into sort of landmarks that are easy for me to pick out and to maybe start from, or maybe outliers, which are, uh, let's say, um, if her leg was much farther away from the pose, I might start there to make sure that I have the drawing, I will have the complete drawing on the page. Um, so in this case, um, I would always try to shoot for the hips myself. I feel like this kind of grounds the the pose and the figure um, so I would sort of draw a circle for the hips um, and then I would start to see what things sort of play off of that um, we could go with the torso here which it obviously is um, she's extending her back reaching for her feet so there will be this uh, which you can't see though and this is an important thing at times so you have to draw through maybe the form to kind of um, understand how things hook up on either side. I can't see where her mid back is, but I'm sort of guessing that it's here. And I'm guessing that sort of like her torso is, is like this. Um, so I would draw kind of like that as a stand in for her shoulders. I would uh, start with circles um, and I would, uh, after that, maybe um, you know, find the landmarks where her elbows are and make a note of maybe like having like a, a cylinder, you know, to sort of drop things in. I'll then move to kind of like what is a good indicator is kind of like the, the radius or kind of like angles of certain joints that we know that are flat. So it looks like the angle here for her wrist is about there. And then I would draw kind of like maybe another box or uh, a cylinder meeting up we know her hand is attached we draw uh, knuckle lines here um, and then maybe you know circle for the thumb and kind of move down I do note that uh, this is not life drawing this is tracing so um, but again yeah it's just how I would be looking at the the figure um, uh, 
trying to solve the the pose complexities. Um, so then I would draw maybe you know fingers you know kind of here, and then uh, for the feet in this pose I may I may approach this one as and then notice I'm drawing through the hand here maybe uh, a triangle um, triangular kind of shape or drop in the um, toes um, and maybe you know keeping note of like okay her her head is here obviously I can't see her chin um, but then I may move down to the knee which you could use an indicator as a, let's say a triangle or a circle kind of whatever is best um, and uh, sort of fill in how it would hook up to the rest of the body. And I know that I have her hips here. And I assume uh, her posterior would be, um, I guess, separated here. And I know that this would be the kind of hip joint. So her leg, her femur would insert into that area. Um, and then her other leg, you know, I'd be drawing through the figure, uh, trying to note the angles, and maybe a circle for the knee, then moving up to this ankle and then drawing a triangle I guess here to kind of finish off where that that area is. I'd be trying to draw through the figure and maybe drop in some indication of her hands uh, holding on to um, her foot. So her eye line here I would sort of maybe try to find the front, maybe the direction in which she's looking, um, even though you can't see her jaw or her chin, but it would help to note that angle, then it could sort of drop in eyes, and I know that the nose would be here, and her eyebrows uh, here, and coming in. This is her ear, um, clearly, and then drop in kind of like the, the hairline um, that sort of fills in the, the rest of kind of the blanks. We know that she's clothed and whatnot. So this is how I would uh, approach or plan out how I would approach uh, this uh, pose. Um, so I guess let's start. Um, some of you that have followed along might have uh, seen this pose before. It was from one of the other drawings. Uh, that were or drawing sessions that were posted. I thought it was a really cool pose and I kind of wanted to, I had FOMO, I didn't want to miss out. So I was like, I'm just gonna toss it in this session so I can kind of tackle it. Um, and then maybe for some of you, you can you know go back and see how you uh, approach this pose and um, yeah, kind of parallel in regards to how you tackled it. Um, so again, how I would look at this pose, uh, I would, I'm just going to zoom in a little bit here, sort of keep this frame in play, and I would approach this pose kind of like a box. Uh, the reason being is because, yeah, it's very vertical in its uh, dimension, and there's not a lot of, um, was it, uh, not a lot of vanishing points, which is something which is a point that is receding in space. We can sort of see that with her heel here. Um, I'm going to play just so that I know that I'm in the allotted time frame for these poses. Um, so I would start with the hips here. So I drop in a circle um, and then I would move to, let's say, uh, the kind of pubic bone area um, just for me because then I know I can play off this arc and attach her uh, femur and leg into here. So I would approach this drawing or this uh, leg kind of like a cylinder. Um, and then I would slowly begin to move up the, the figure, noting the sort of uh, negative and positive shapes. So I see a triangle here, there's a triangle here, which, you know, I would want to be mindful of. Um, and to note her rib cage um, is here. So I would I know that her stomach is sort of coming out like this. So I would drop that in, try to find that appropriate angle, and also noting her shoulders here. 
that are dropping down. Um, and I think the pose feels a little bit long. We shall see as we kind of kind of tackle this. Um, her arm drops down here. We have her elbow, and then we move down to her wrist. Um, so, just moving down, just noting the sort of uh, angle in which um, her elbow is facing. We know that there is a lot of flexation going here in the shoulders to maintain um, stability. Um, we have her uh, tricep here that's firing as well. So moving down to her wrist, which um, kind of eloquently, because of the angle, is kind of like a, a triangle. Um, and we can note where her neck uh, kind of starts here, and her chin is about here. And then we draw through the figure sort of give the indication of her head um, in relation to her arm. Um, we know that her chest is here. Her shirt is set up like this, moving up. Um, and we know that the other arm is in the, the background. Um, looks like it's slightly twisted out. Or, sorry, uh, looks like her elbow is twisting out there. Um, now, moving on to up here, her legs are crossed. So essentially how I would approach that is I would find maybe her heel of where her foot is in space. And then I would draw her foot, which is kind of like a triangle. Um, but you also have to remember like there's overlapping kind of musculature here. So I'd make sure that it overlaps appropriately. Move to her heel. And then I'd move to the bottom of her foot. And then it would move to the toe over here. Um, and then we know that her other foot is here. Um, so it looks like an oval. The other one's used kind of like a square. So I can't quite see her complete leg, but I'd always try to make sure that I'm drawing through the figure to kind of line those things up appropriately. Um, her ankle is here. Other calf is here. Um, looks like her hip is here. Her belly button's here. And then so her leg maybe comes up a little bit more. This leg hooks up to here. So then her face, start with her chin, her lips, her nose. We have her eye line. Um, and then we have her eyebrow. So I'll sort of hook up like this. And we have the ear here. And the rest of the pose is like this. Um, yeah. So drawing in some indication for the, the other arm. I think her arm might be a little bit further out straighter out um, like that so that's the first pose um, so the second pose is this pose which is definitely very difficult it's so the same thing I would start kind of with a shape um, and try to uh, nail the shape in its sort of entirety Noting the vanishing line, maybe it's a little bit more aggressive, I think, in the photograph. So maybe something like this. Um, and I know that this will be a little bit difficult. I think I would start with the hips, maybe here. Um, and then that would allow me to sort of drop in the, the leg here. Um, as it's sort of more closer to to frame um, and we have the knee here we have this leg coming up like this it's pressed against the floor so we see a little bit larger um, 
kind of belly. It's it's uh, protruding out here a little bit. I'm gonna follow her rib cage up, and then I'm gonna find. Even though we can't see, we know that sort of the vanishing point is like this um, for her torso. So I'm gonna draw a line across here, across here, to know that. I am trying to fill in the, the planks here. So her shoulder here, chest here, like this. And then her other leg, which you can't quite see, would be right here, um, following somewhat of a cylinder down and her toes are poking out. You can drop in somewhat of a triangular shape. Moving back over to where her foot is and drop this down like this. And we know that her neck is uh, sort of flowing through the pose here and her jawline is about there. So you know that her head is about here in space. Her ear is about there. And her arms are sort of coming down. Her hand is about there. And we are searching for, there we go. I think we found her shoulder, which is about there. And her other shoulder, um, which is sort of going on a vanishing point, kind of uh, into the background. So we have her neck, her shoulders a little bit longer, um, and this, her foot is here, the foot is here, and her hands are embracing her, her foot. So we have her eye line, approximately, which is there, and let's say her back is a little bit wider, and her hair is dropping down kind of here um, eye is here eyebrows here her mouth is here her chin is like this and her ear is here um, we might be a little bit off with the angle but again, doing the best we can within the time parameters that we have. Toes, her hands, her fingers are wrapping around here. Wrapping around here, like this. So, come across here, shorts, bow, kind of here, back. Can see here and her upper garment is here and her chest like this. So there's one thing that I'm noting as I'm drawing this as well is that I could use a little bit better line economy. Um, Drawing too many lines heavily can make things a little bit more difficult. We all remember this pose. So, I will start with a box here. Noting the, it looks like it's kind of like this on the ground, the angle. And then I'm going to start with the, the hips, which are a little bit in because of the arch here. Pardon me. So the hips are about like this. Um, and then I'm going to go to this leg here. Um, Trying to match up the, the knee, which is here. Um, it looks like her legs kind of fall in this, on this angle. So we're drawing, and then I think we'd want to tackle her torso next. So based on that 
the space that we've drawn prior. Can't quite see kind of like the middle of her back, which is difficult. So we're making somewhat of a guesstimation here. Her ribs, her hips are here. This comes up across. So we have her shoulders and her elbows are here. Looks like a cylinder there. There's much larger shapes here. And we're trying to find this angle here. And this angle here. So there's musculature here. This looks a strap here. We cannot find exactly. We know that her neck is here. Her chin looks like her jawline. Lines up right about there. And her ear is here. So you know that her head kind of falls down like this. This might be a little bit thick. Um, so now we're moving to kind of where her hand is. Her hand is holding something, which is something that we should bring in, I think, actually a lot of it. Um, angle is definitely off. So we're gonna bring this up here and we're gonna bring the top of the foot up like this. So um, we have the toes here, we have her hands kind of holding her feet um, here. Her thumb is coming around like this. Um, that looks very strange. So she's holding her feet and her other leg is coming from her hip. She's coming from her leg straight out. Knee, cylinder, almost similar angle. Note the space in between. Triangle, kind of here. We have the leg kind of splaying out a little bit like this. I might be drawing a little bit fast here. I'm not exactly sure how much time I have. We have her other arm kind of here holding on to her foot. So we have her, head, her eye line here, and uh, got to find the center line here. The nose, bridge of the nose is there. So then we have her hairline kind of coming down, and her hair is coming down here. So the middle of her posterior. Actually, we, I do think I completely, well, maybe not, completely blew it. Um, but this pose is definitely, definitely pushing the gate here. And I think this is what I really like because um, sometimes your intention is to always, you know, draw something to knock out of the park. But yeah, sometimes it's a little bit more difficult. <clears throat> and we have in this one, she's doing kind of the splits and the drawing is on an angle. So sometimes to help us, yeah, maybe pick a side and note where the top of the page is. Here, so we have a square and we are going to encapsulate the figure. It's a little bit wider of a drawing, something like this. I gotta zoom out a little bit to sort of make sure. So looking at this drawing, I want to note her hips here. It looks like they're slightly on angle, but I remember as I said before, uh, it looks like this is the outlier, her fingers up here. So sometimes it's good to, let's say start in an area that you want to keep on the page. So we have this here, arm is coming down like this. We 
I have the other hand here. The arm is sort of blowing out like this, straight. And then we have her shoulder, her forearm. I think the arm is a little bit longer. This box might be off. Pardon me. Um, we have her arm here, just being somewhat foreshortened. And then we have her foot, which she's holding below her hands. And it travels all the way down. And note, where we put the circle for hips before is very off. But it's all part of the planning process. Here, so we know that her hips are around here. So coming down, not so much, maybe a cylinder as much. Um, we know that her, ang her hips are on an angle, so they're like this. And then it looks like her leg is falling further down here. So very, uh, the duality of the anatomy and the angle in which to approach it is, this one is precarious a little bit. Ankle bone. Um, so this is her hips here, the shirt here, the underarm here, just coming up this way, falling up this way, and her hair, her face is tucked right in here. So we have her eye line, find the center line. I like to draw a kite to sort of structure things out. Get her nose in there, get her lips. She is smiling. So then her eyes would be like this. And her ear, it looks like I missed placing her neck. Well, so this can be a little bit, maybe not, I don't know. Trust the, the geometry to a degree. <laughs> yes, so this is going to be a difficult pose. Um, here, like this, hand, like this, fingers. So it did slightly go off, but not as bad as it would have been. So we have here. Posterior is below, her leg is below. This uh, muscle here is being torqued. We have sort of a calf out here. Toes are here. So this pose, oh, chin is here. Yeah, it looks like her shoulders are a little bit too big. Um, it wasn't a complete loss. I think the, the angle of the pose is maybe adding to a little bit of the difficulty. Um, but yeah, try to tackle it. Nonetheless, moving on to this pose here. So it was a twist in the figure. So again, I would approach it maybe like a triangle, like this, but then note the angle in which her foot is at and in which her arm is receding back into space here. So how I would approach this is obviously with the outlier, just starting up here, you know, um, she is, a circle with her fingers, a uh, meditative kind of circle. So we have her hand here. Um, and I shouldn't be putting it so close to the edge, but yeah, sometimes it's tough. Um, moving down the arm here to the shoulder. You see a little torque in the chest here. Um, here, like this, so a 
circle here. Her chest, other shoulder, and her other arm is coming down. So we can totally see the shape was very off. Um, and sometimes, um, yeah, sometimes your visual acuity of where things are placed is on. Sometimes, you know, you have, as I say, good days and bad days, but the, um, it's always important to know your intention. And sometimes there are going to not be some good days, but sometimes there's going to be some days where you catch yourself off guard where you're very inspired by how you're approaching the figure. And, you know, to not set your value on what you want the drawing to be and more so the process of just trying to keep adhering to your understanding and principles of how to approach this pose. So we know that space here, leg is sort of folding over, and this is coming up here, and her shorts are there. So her leg is coming from underneath here, which is falling in this direction. So when you know her knee here is coming under here. So we have this, we have this, we have the ankle down here, have yeah the ankle over here on an angle so the angle is right just the uh, placement of where the foot was was not right and it'll happen okay so toes here we have the ankle here the leg that's coming underneath is about here we can't see it so you know that her heel is here her foot is sort of coming around like this. Um, yeah, so I'm going to zoom out a little bit. That is a very big pose that I completely, <laughs> it happens, it happens. Just got to keep rolling. All right, so like this. So her shoulder here, her shirt here, this part here, this part under here, her neck is in flexation, her clavicle is like this, her jawbone is here, the midline of her face is here, so we have this, we have her nose here, and her mouth, kind of like this, to a degree. Um, note her eyes, Coming up here, and yeah, so this is that pose. It's a little bit warm here, okay. chest here. Okay, so next pose. So this one, you can probably call it out, clearly is a triangular pose. So starting from here to here, the hips up here, and we have coming down, and her foot is very much so in the foreground, her hands are very much sort of receding, and a line in between. So this one, I'm going to start with the, the hips. So we have the torso kind of bending down, um, and we have the, the leg in which is coming down as well. We have the knee, um, and we have the hamstrings that are here, the shin, and we have the ankle here, and this uh, calf moving up like this. So this foot comes out from here 
looks like a triangle. We have this ankle here. We have the toes here coming up, coming down. One here. More rounded. So we have the leg there. The back is coming down here. So regards where the shoulder is to the knee. We have to respect that sh respect that space. And then we have her arms, her shoulders, and her hands, and her wrist coming in at this angle. So we have very much so kind of a augmented box there. And then we have a her underarm, and then we have a bulk of her shoulder here. And then we have the forearm here. And then we have her other sort of forearm and her head, which we can't see is there. And then we can see her neck though. Her neck is like this. So I think there's actually a little bit more bulk here. Her back muscles are filling that out. We can see her, sh her pants. We can also see the intercostal muscle, sort of a, a rib cage, kind of in this area. We can see her top coming down. And yes. Like that. Her other arm in the distance is like this. Kind of mirroring what's going on in the foreground. Um, so then we have this hand here, this hand here, coming up like this. Of her ear here coming around like this hairline and her bun very nice so yes like this this um, folds in her pants really getting into too much detail with that. Um, sort of folds in her musculature up here. This looks a little bit more rounded as it comes down. So, yeah. Going in, yeah. Looks like her Hands are intertwined. Um, just a little tension. Her neck over here. Sorry. Need a much more accurate rendition of what's going on over here. And this pose, which looks, um, yeah, this looks hmm, pretty tough. Um, so we got the line here, of her leg moving up like this, and so there seems to be this flow here. Her foot is put like this, just connecting kind of hands. So, in regards to finding where her hips are, I think they're about here, but they're definitely on an angle, which makes them more kind of like ovally, oval-esque. Um, if we draw a box, it would look like this, more or less. Um, that's another way to sort of, yeah, you have to put down the landmarks that kind of help you uh, find the structure in the form. So this um, the angle of her leg is about like this. We have her hamstrings here. 
of her leg coming out like this. So then we have the leg coming down. The heel is about there. So like this. And then we can pop in a triangle for her foot. Like this. Her pants like this. Yeah, and it's, um, I also want to say, if you are seeing different shapes that you can use as anchors to draw the form, I definitely encourage that. Um, it doesn't have to be what I see, you know. Um, I'm sort of trying to um, lend to you my process in regards to how you would uh, attempt this drawing. Um, so, you know, I really encourage you to um, find your language in which you're kind of expressing things. I think um, there's, always, there's always a place for, um, I guess, uh, finding um, mimicry, I would say. There's always a place for that. Think of a learning journey when you're inspired by the artists. You know, you want to, your idea of what is good is kind of how they see the world as good. But I would say, and I stand by this, is if you aren't uh, to a degree trying to find out what you think is good, you're kind of stealing from yourself. Um, because it takes a very long time to uh, get good at something, you know, it takes years and years and years and sort of look at this as more like a meditation when you're drawing. Um, and when you're drawing somebody else's kind of rendition, it's great at first, but then sometimes, you know, what is, what keeps you curious? And I think for me and from some other artists that I've seen, you know, over the years, what has kept their process curious is they're always finding new ways, you know, or just they adhere to, well, this is the aesthetic that I really enjoy. And I know you have to develop that over time, but I would say, you know, it's always good to try to seek out your own visual language you know, in, in regards to how, you, how you're viewing things. Um, there's no absolute, this is the right way. You know, um, so many languages in the world, there's so many ways to approach and solve problems. It's all just problem solving. So if you see it a different way and it works for you, that's your, you know, that's your way. And other people might, might see that way and be like, hey, that's cool. Um, but yeah, don't, I would never outright kind of almost give up on your own expression journey and just copy verbatim. That can be difficult. Um, all right. So this pose down here, um, and that's just my opinion, you know, like you can, Take it or leave it. This is going to be a tough pose, I feel. So we have her head here. Hand. Coming up. The reason why this is difficult is because it is a wild child kind of pose of things. Her face is here. I think the main thing for people doing artwork is to stay curious. Stay curious and, um, yeah, stay positive, you know. Keep true to what you want to explore. Um, yeah, because it's cool. It's cool, you know, the things that you end up knowing and doing. And it's really amazing. I don't know. I love that magic 
when you find your own, you know, niche. Um, I talked to my friend um, who's in Australia, and he's, or pardon me, hopefully I don't offend anybody, but I mean New Zealand. I apologize. I apologize. Um, he is a doctor, and uh, yeah, just talking to him, having like really inspiring individuals in your life that are like very true to their exploring journey, you know, you end up doing some amazing things. I never would have thought, you know, where we were, we grew up in the same town and where we ended up, you know, nobody could have planned that out. Nobody knew, but I think it, that's where your curiosity takes you. And if you really adhere to your curiosity, you know, you can surprise kind of yourself and other people as well, you know, and inspire other people. You know, I think that's the intention for this is to inspire folks. You know, it's uh, it's um, yeah, it's cool to see other people kind of invest in their journeys. Um, the leg here, rambling on. Um, Every journey is unique to you. She has an undertop here. I think this is a rib. We're going to go with that guess. Um, so her arm is holding her back up like this. We have her nose, her eye, her eyebrow. So we're coming down like this. Mouth. line is a little bit weighted but do what you do do what you can her chest here and her hair is kind of like this um, noting the angle of her bicep it's like this hand, nail, nail, like this, so we have the, her leg is out like this, looks like her foot is here, fat pad, or the bone, bony area of her foot, these are her other toes. Fabric sort of folding back. Hips. And I think her heel. Maybe draw this out a little bit more. Square, I think. Her hamstrings are actually maybe not that far, but they're in there for sure. And her shorts. Yes, these poses are very cool. Very, very cool. You know. Right. So, we have, uh, actually, I'm going to stop here. Um, not because I want to stop, but because uh, I don't want to uh, keep going over time. I've done that from time to time, and that's, you know, um, it is what it is, but for some of you maybe that are looking at the video and uh, maybe you're using it for time and I'm a little bit over, might be uh, mistaken. So it's about the 50 minute mark. Um, so the rest of the poses that you have here, I'll just go through. Oh, that's a fun pose. Oh man, <laughs> that's another fun pose. Bend in the back. Extreme flexibility for anybody that can do that. I'm very impressed. And that is very cool as well. It's almost like break dancers. Oh, that's a cool, very cool pose. You never know. Maybe uh, next class I might have uh, a few of these drawings going. Again, um, you can pause the video for any of the drawings that I've uh, that were left.
here um, or go back to them. Um, but yes, so drew here. Um, go to these poses. This one turned out nice, but put it on the page. This one was cool as well. Um, yeah, this one I didn't actually think I. It's a very leap of faith doing that. Um, but yeah, I'd really like to thank you for uh, following along and um, yeah, just, uh, you know, keep drawing. Um, yeah, stay positive and um, yeah, invest in your journey, right? Take care of, uh, take care of yourselves.